What's up bros and sisters? Here's how you do this fireball effect in DaVinci Resolve. First of all, my favorite thing about this effect is that it is both easy and free. And that's a good combo. I got this effect from a site called videasy.com. They have a bunch of cool video effects in here all for free. So a free resource that you may not know about. Check out VidEasy, they got film burns on here, film mats, and then you just search for anything that you need. I just searched Fireball for this, tried it to see if it would work, ended up liking it, and so now I'm doing a tutorial on it. So once you have your effect downloaded from VidEasy, drag it into your timeline, and it's gonna look like this at first. It's just gonna be a black screen even when you overlay it over the clip that you're trying to do the effect on. So make sure you come over here and set the composite mode to screen. It's gonna be on normal at first, and this is all you're gonna see. So make sure and set your composite mode to screen. Uh, we're gonna look for a frame where the ball actually comes into frame. It looks like right there is our first one. Uh, simple and easy, all we do is drag our fireball over and go up here to our transform, uh, the zoom and position, and we just wanna overlay where we have the circle of our effect to the circle or the sphere, I should say, right? The sphere of the ball. And so um, just put it right over it. That's a good spot right there. We wanna play with the rotation angle and have the flame uh, actually move in the right direction so we can play around with that and then all we will do from here is make sure and set keyframes on our clip so that we can make adjustments to the zoom the position and the rotation angle as the ball is going down into the basket so we just go frame by frame uh, no fusion that we have to use uh, just simply right here from the edit tab go the next frame over and as you see the ball obviously has moved our effect has not, so we just simply move it down, position it how we want it. Might have to change the rotation angle a little bit and rinse, lather, and repeat, going frame by frame until you have the video effect. The next effect that I added as the ball is going into the basket, added some flames on the backboard, same thing. Downloaded it from VidEasy. Uh, go to your composite mode, go to screen, and here is our first um, kind of look at the ball going in and as it's going in, as it hits the net, uh, we got a flaming backboard, uh, came out pretty good. Same thing with this, you had to play with the zoom, position, rotation, angle, pitch, and yaw, make sure and get the, the angle right. It did take some playing around with in order to get to look like it was coming from the backboard and that it was being lit up by the ball. The last thing that is just as important as this visual effect is the audio effect. So sound design is going to make these effects especially special effects. And so I have uh, five uh, audio tracks here. The first one or the first two um, our ambient sounds of what's actually happening at practice. So that's the actual sounds that are going on. I always include those in videos. I have a fireball bursting effect, uh, a whoosh to hit as the ball goes into the basket, and a blaze. Uh, the last one is the soundtrack. And so here is what the effect will look like with no sound design at all. So still pretty cool, but a lot better if we include all the sounds in it. Last thing that we can look at, um, if I go to my effect here, go down to the color tab, um, our team colors are, are green, and so if we look at it here, uh, we have an orange, orange flame. Uh, if we wanted to, we could just take the hue right here and change any color we want. That's a nice looking green color right there. So if you wanna mix up the colors a little bit uh, for your team's colors, just another little added special that you can make there just to kind of customize it and make it your own. If you didn't get a chance to see this whole video, it is on the channel. They played it right before they introduced the players on opening night. It was really cool. Just kind of see the public uh, enjoy your work and to see the players get excited about it. And they'll continue to play it as they introduce the players for the remainder of the season. If you're new to the channel or if you've been here before, my name is CJ. I'm into all things filmmaking and photography. Subscribe to the channel and follow along. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>